Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. Jumini. I wanted to come to a little bit of translating word phrases into algebraic expressions. I always like to think about this as taking, taking English and making it into mathematical language. So I like to take my time with these. We have five examples here. I really like to break these down. Uh, first thing, we have to know some terminology. So for the first one here, I read quotient of Zn5 plus 1 half. First thing I, know, I need to know is quotient. And in my mind, quotient means to divide. And what am I dividing? Z by Z and 5. So the quotient of Z and 5 plus, plus 1 half. I think of 1 half is this. So I'm taking the quotient of Z and 5. So whatever Z divided by 5 is. And once I find that quotient, I'm adding to it 1 half. And there I am. I'm done. All right. Again, knowing some terminology. Difference. Number seven, difference between 14 and 9 times C. The difference, the difference between my age and your age. To figure that out, we would do subtraction. So here, I'm subtracting. And what am I subtracting? Well, I'm subtracting 14. Well, that's a number. I can write 14 easily. So I have 14. And what am I subtracting from 14? Well, it's 9 times, 9 times C. I have a number times a variable. So this becomes the coefficient. Find the difference. Nine, 14 minus 9 times C. If I think about this here again, to go over some terminology, here's my subtraction sign. That separates the first term from the second term. The second term, the 9 is a coefficient. The C is the variable. Or we could also say that 9 and C are factors. 9 and C are factors. All right. Now let's go look take a look at the next one here. We have multiply. Hey, it's telling me, hey, you need to multiply one third and x minus six. Now here's the thing. It doesn't say multiply one third times x. It says multiply one third and x minus six. Meaning I should find x I should find the difference of x minus six first. And then, when I get that difference, multiply that difference by one third. That's why incorporating the parentheses here. All right. Next one, sum of. Hey, sum. Sum tells me to add. Sum of. What am I adding together? 27. Well, that's easy. That's 27. And I'm adding sum of 27 and. So that's where my little addition sign goes. 5 times g. So 5g. We end up getting 27 adding to 27 the product of 5 times g so 5g notice i'm using lowercase letters again this also has two terms 27 is one term the 5g is the other the term is separated by the terms are separated by this plus sign the 5 is our coefficient the g is our variable together they are factors because we're multiplying them together and finally last but not least total Total, uh, I have $4, I have $10, I have a total of whatever that is. So total means to add. Add, total of one-fifth and, add one-fifth and, four times as much as Q. So four, whatever Q is, I want four times more of that. So I believe we have one-fifth plus four times Q. All right, hope this helps you out. Take care, bye.